If the street sweeper hasn't gone by your house yet, it's coming. But there is a lot more to street sweeping than just keeping our roads looking pretty. Well, a visitor to Jason Rush's video chat room named Steve saw one, and he wanted to know a little more. So how do street sweepers work? Good question. Tonight, Jason digs up the dirt. So now you want me to do this whole street? The whole street. All right. I hate my job. Clearly, this is not the most efficient way to clean up our streets. There's 1,100 miles of street to sweep up. Oh, boy. Okay, we'll take off. Bob Hayhurst has a better way. He drives the Road Wizard. He's got a ton of buttons and two steering wheels. Gotta see the gutter line so we can see where we're going. How big of a deal is street sweeping? Well, street sweeping in Minneapolis is a real big deal. Mike Kennedy runs Minneapolis's Public Works Department, and he's in charge of the major sweeps in the spring and the fall. We are um, federally mandated to perform those two complete comprehensive street sweepings for water quality and other things like that. Really? That's federal? Yes, there's a, a federal permit that we have. Those round side brooms kick the junk to a big sweeper in the center. Then the dirt goes up a conveyor belt into a hopper. When I see these giant machines go by, sometimes it looks like they're just kicking dust up into the air. Are, are they really cleaning the streets? Well, absolutely, they are cleaning the street. They're picking up most of the de debris that's out there. To make it work, the machines spray water on the dust, making it easier to sweep. After about four blocks, the hopper is full and has to be dumped. The leaves get sorted out and turned into compost. Most of the, uh, the inorganic material we take to a landfill where they use it for day cover to fill voids. When people think about the streets in the city, they need to not see that as a bunch of tar and concrete. They need to see that as a beach because anything that winds up in the street winds up exactly in the lakes and the river. In our spring sweeping, we'll collect uh, about 18,000 tons on average of sand and grit and dirt and debris. Wow, that's incredible. It's a lot of material. But even the wizard can't pick up everything. Bricks. A lot of people like to throw their dirty clothes in the streets. Really? They do. <laughs> <laughs> Almost every city is mandated to do two major street sweepings a year. In Minneapolis, there's some sweeping happening every day. And Jason tells us that sweepers go through downtown nightly, and they use a machine with a vacuum by the lakes to cut down on the dirt getting kicked in the air. Jason and Joe are hitting reply all to your questions tomorrow, so send them an email tonight. The form is on our website.